situated at the maritime crossroads of the Eastern Mediterranean Basin. Cyprus evokes images of exquisite beaches, tranquil valleys, and warm and hospitable locals. But within this small circumference of space, one who takes a step further encounters far more. A bountiful array of culture, traditions, and without a doubt, art. Whose presence through the centuries documents the changes and influences of many of the island's civilizations. One art form that represents the rich heritage of the island is the mosaic. The ancient mosaic art technique, where patterns are formed with small, richly colored stones and glass, left a significant mark on Cyprus' artistic identity. Many contemporary Cypriot artists have studied abroad and have been influenced by varying art forms around the world. Yet they find a connection to the spiritual, mythological and religious elements evoked in the art within their island. They revive the ancient mosaic form predominant in Cyprus, reconnecting to the artistic roots of their country. Their tireless fusion of stones piece by piece, inspires us to go back to the beginning. Mosaics reach their zenith during the Byzantine epoch, specifically between the third and sixth centuries AD. As Christian civilization prevailed on the island, stunning architecture was erected. Adorning the walls and stretching kilometers along pavements, mosaics display the artistic, spiritual, and religious importance of Cyprus during that period. Found predominantly in Byzantine churches and monasteries, ancient city kingdoms, and now museums, where significant artwork of the past and present share the same space. However, in order to investigate the beginning of mosaic art in Cyprus, we have to go back as far as the 3rd century BC to the ancient city kingdom of Paphos, where the earliest known mosaic is housed. Now a designated World Heritage Site by UNESCO, Paphos is regarded as one of the most important mosaic producing centers of the Roman world. Mostly depicting Greek mythology, the houses of Dionysos, House of Theseus, House of Aeon, and House of Orpheus retain some of the most stunning mosaics of the Eastern Mediterranean. Discovered by chance in 1962 by a Cypriot farmer, the houses of Dionysos brought to light astounding 3rd to 5th century mosaics that occupy an area of about 2,000 square meters, of which 556 are covered with mosaics. The houses of the Onysos mosaic decorations concentrate highly on the Onysos, the mythological pleasure-loving god, and the Cypress vine, a testament to Cypriot wine production which dates back as far as 200 BC and the lifestyle that revolved around its production is recounted through decorations of country life, of hunters and prey, people collecting fruit and flowers, and seasonal and emotional transitions are seen in the Four Seasons mosaic, depicting summer, winter, autumn, and spring. The mythological wine stories continue through the mosaic of the Shepherd of Ilium, who's depicted in the mosaic The Rape of Ganymede, where Zeus, in the form of an eagle, 
carries away young Ganymede to Olympus to make him the new cupbearer of the gods. The villa of Theseus is built upon the ruins of earlier houses of the Hellenistic and Roman periods. Of the 9,600 meters of space that the building occupies, more than 1,400 meters of this area is decorated with mosaic floors. Thought to be the residence of the Roman governor of the island, the mosaic of Theseus and the Minotaur is known as one of the finest mosaics found in Cyprus. A signature of wealth and status, the mosaic became such a popular art form during the early Byzantine years that artisans were commissioned by the Roman elite to decorate their homes walls, floors, and public buildings. George Gerbolas brought the old tradition of Byzantine art and hagiography, which literally means the writing of saints, into the 21st century. Commissioned to prepare the monumental mosaic work at the Kikos Monastery, it took George Gerbolas four years to finish the 25 compositions portraying parables from the Bible. Gerbolas' interest in mosaics began early in his studies. Finishing college in Cyprus, he went to the United States, where he studied at the National Academy of Fine Arts. His passion for mosaics then took him to Greece, where he specialized in Byzantine hagiography and mosaics. Kepolas uses his art form for communicating with people. By taking from the earth and reassembling the stones into patterns and images, the mosaic connects people with the artwork and the natural world. Whether it's a 21st century design or one dating back to the 4th century. Regarded as some of the finest examples of the so-called beautiful style, the mosaics within the house of Aeon are characteristic of the Constantinian Renaissance of the first half of the fourth century. The pictures, set in three rows, depict rich compositions of mythological subjects which contain both deep philosophical and religious importance. The Christian religion was fully established in Cyprus by this period. Christian themes and symbolism became the predominant th